in this portion we will learn how to create a Moodle site in GNOMIO platform. So what's the importance of this GNOMIO platform? We have already discussed the merits of Moodle. It's an open source software, so it's free. However, you require a physical server or a cloud server for hosting this Moodle software. So the cost of its installation in cloud server is very large. Suppose a college which is having more than 1500 students, we need to expect more than 500 concurrent uses. Concurrent uses means the number of uses uh, enrolled in a course at a particular time. For installing that, we require a cloud hosting server, TGB data transfer per month which demands a rental fee of around 1800 per month. It is very huge. So normal colleges will find it difficult to meet this account or meet this amount. So two options are there. One thing, government, government should provide a separate grant need to meet these expenses. Second, it is easy. Go for Moodle dedicated free online service. So free online surveys are available. One such good online Moodle dedicated server is, is the GNO MIO server. So this is the peculiarity of GNO MIO. It propagates the idea Moodle site for everyone. It allows to host Moodle courses completely free. Moodle Cloud also offers similar hosting. Moodle Cloud also offers the hosting of Moodle software, but after 45 days, it may expire. After that, it is paid. But in GNOMAO, it is absolutely free, completely free. You can host your Moodle site in GNOMAO. One thing is that site may contain some ads, advertisements, Google ads related with education institutions or banks are being displayed there they won't irritate you through these ads they are collecting their revenue to rent this server the cost of this server so in this workshop you are all hosting your Moodle course page in GNMAO platform you can take your college Moodle page also in this GNMAO platform after this workshop for that first you need to go to www.gnomao.com so first go to www.gnomao.com so this is the home page of the gnomao site here you can see an option where you need to provide the site name which you require. I am typing this one as Rakesh SB dot Then type the your email address. You will receive a mail confirming the registration of your site. I have then take this one create site. After some time, you will receive a mail. Okay, we can wait. I have received the mail now. You can see the instructions. Your Moodle site, takeshsb.gnmao.com is ready. Please don't prepend www. Which means while typing this address in the address bar, don't type www. prior to rakeshsb.gnmao.com. Just type rakeshsb.gnmao.com without including www. So login informations are there. So I am clicking this my new GNMAO site. So my site is ready. So everyone need to create a GNMAO site like this with your desired site name. So in the address bar you have you need to type your site name dot gnmao.com only so in the site page you can see a login information 
right top corner here just click that click in that so the username i am repeating the username is admin so in the mail it's a it is displaying that username is admin you can see here username is admin and the password is there so i need to type my username as admin and password i am copying from the mail so care should be taken don't include that space there only characters so then login so i entered into my course page in this way you can have your moodle course page in gno mio platform in this way you can create a moodle course page in gno mio platform in the course page you can see in the left side you can have a navigation pan there's a three horizontal lines there you can see there if you click that one it may hide that navigation pan so in your course page if the navigation pan is not available just click in these three lines it will be available now so site home this is dashboard it's just like how you are using a facebook page if i am clicking the site home it will take to your site home and there you can see a navigation tour so i am just sending that course tour there so this is my site home you can edit or you can customize the site home that we will learn later so first thing you need to do after creating a moodle site is just to edit your profile this is the user button you can see top right corner just click in that one and then click profile So it is very important first you need to edit your profile then edit profile so username admin so here i am giving my new password so while giving new password care must be taken that it must have at least eight characters the direction is given here it must have at least eight characters one digit one lowercase one uppercase one alpha numeric character etc so your password should contain all these characters so first name you can change from admin to i'm changing to my name rakesh so surname my initial so email address is there select your country so i'm selecting india here so then select the time zone which is very important here asia just check asia yeah asia kolkata is the time zone for us so asia kolkata because why this is important unless unless if you do this settings you can't schedule your exam time or assignment time because the moodle server may use the server time zone which may in america or in australia or in ireland so if you want to use your country's time zone you need to set this time zone first also you must direct your students also to set the time zone and country so after that you can give some descriptions there or if you want to add your user picture here you can add so for adding your picture here two provisions are there one you can drag and drop files from your folder or just simply click here it will open another window click upload a file you can see upload a file choose file select your photo click choose then click upload this file so your photo comes there which will appear here at the top right corner then update profile click on update profile 
so you edited your profile so this is the first thing you need to do after creating Moodle course page in GNO Omnio so I think you understand now how to create a Moodle course page in GNO MIO platform thank you